I've got a board full of space traveling warriors units and $20 to make a Dokkan Dream Team. Let's do it. And here we are with the space traveling. Is my camera fucked up? Much better. We got our space traveling warriors board here today and it's looking pretty healthy, pretty full. And I did try my best to put a mix of some super class characters in there because I know some of you aren't villain players. With all that being said, now y'all already know what I'm going to say. This is to celebrate the release of Physical Turtles over here on JP Dokkan, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up that boy for free. I know some of you have some issues with the pick up for free format of the $20 videos, and we're going to figure it out as we go. We're still in the early stages of this. We're only, what, what $20 video is this? It can't be, it's got to be maybe like 15. Like it's got to be early 10s or late 20s. Who knows? Either way, we're getting Turtles for free. And because this unit might genuinely be the best out of the Three they released for five dollars my next pickup let me go ahead and get amand and cacao i hope i'm saying that right i mean the red dude and the ball sack and what's my boy turles without a lincoln partner man for four dollars let me go ahead and grab the recently easy aid agl grade ape turles for four dollars did I already say $4? This video is all over the place. It's been a while since we recorded a gameplay video. Almost forgot to pull my calculator out. All right, $11 and three units to choose from, and we've got a healthy board. Now I do need, honestly, I see him down there staring at me menacingly, I have to do it. For $3, let me get the homie LRSTR Turles onto the team. Dang, this is almost a full Turles movie team. Do I go for it? I might have to. Ladies and gentlemen, for $4, let me go ahead and grab the other dudes. What, what are their names? We're gonna call them Fuckboy and Robot Man. Go ahead, get smart in the comments and pretend like you knew their name without reading their unit on Dokkan. Go ahead, please. Now, this is an interesting situation. I've got $4 and I can choose one more unit. $4 remaining and one unit to choose from. Actually, it's one unit remaining and $4 to choose it with. I'm falling apart here. I'm gonna go crazy here and for $4, let me grab the boy Tech Grade 8 Vegeta from the seventh year anniversary. And with that, our team is complete. So as always, I encourage you guys over at home to play for yourselves. And you can tweet me a picture of your completed run on Twitter, or you can let me know your team down in the comment section below and if you were able to beat the event. And on your screen right now is the team that we're gonna be using today, our space traveling warriors. And the event we're taking on today is unfortunately kind of a snoozer. We're fighting LG GTE or GT Legendary Goku event, whatever you wanna call it. The point is, Turles has his intro, which is only activated by fighting Goku's family members. Please point me to a fun Goku's family fight in this game. I'll wait. Oh, you said there's nothing? You said it was a stupid decision? Me too. Let me stop wasting your time, man. Let's get into the event. That glow. This boy. Not only is he a Saiyan, but he's on the same gas the devs were on when they designed my intro. <laughs> And there he is. Oh, look, they starting us off with the double Turles rotation. Okay. And look in the middle here. You can see the SGR Turles is so dripped in key from the double three key support from the Turleses. Like, this is what I was looking for. I'm ready to see these boys cook. Start of turn defense. God damn. Hold on. Is the friend Link level? It is. This motherfucker's got tens already. He's like me back in my Link leveling prime. Honestly, I'm a geriatric when it comes to Link leveling now, dude. I hit rank 999 and I barely Link level now. Damn, bro. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about my universal rule that my unit always stays on rotation. I don't know, dude. He's rainbow Link level 10. It's day one. Like, is this truth? Wait, actually, here's how we can check. <laughs> no dodge. <laughs> that ain't fucking truth. Moving on. Seriously, though, the start of turn defense is not bad from turn. And I don't even think his intro buff support gives him any defense. So good on you, Turles. Speaking of Turles, that beautiful STR LR Turles in the middle is uh, is looking like he's getting shafted. God damn! Nine million? That's turn one. He, I'm pretty sure he stacks attack. And see, that's the problem, is they, 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 they throw this condition at us for Goku's family, and every Goku's family event in the game is, that's, that's exactly what you're gonna see, this whole event, is him getting crushed just like that, which I guess makes sense because they are the crusher cord. No, they supposed to do the crushing. Anyway, we got Turles' banner units here, the good one and the garbage one. No lie, the Turles, this Turles $20 video was supposed to be a little different than most I've ever done because I actually had not watched anything on Turles prior to sitting down and getting ready to record this and the super attack. They're going to eat that though with the guard. Yep, oh, yep, beautiful. They're also going to eat this because this event is so old. Why would they put this condition on a 2023 Dokkan Fest? Maybe they're cooking some sort of difficult 
event later in the future. The hardest event I can think of with like a tough Goku's family fight is like the event that we got for eighth year. Like the, and that only goes up to, that's only like the sixth anti stage, the fourth anti stage, and the second anti stage, which like second and fourth are easy. And like sixth, they, they make me fight a Vegeta for half the time. God damn! 7.5 from AGL Turtles. See, these attack stats would be even more overwhelming if they were the first time I was seeing them because that's initially where I went. But truth be told, I actually did try to record this video earlier against that event. Holy shit, Turles, that defense. Christ, man. Again, I believe the man is still stacking. There's still room to go. On the topic of Dokkan and dropping difficult events, I feel like right now the conversation is stirred up once again. The whole is Dokkan dying thing that I feel like comes up every year around this time. Around this time of like 9.5. Do he still... Right, he permanently stacks attack. I need to keep that in mind. So I need to lower my hype receptacles because the man's just going to keep building attack the whole time. Okay, nice. And he's just going to finish off this Goku. This, we're going to finish this off in seconds bro like this event is so weak oh look my turtles is back 355k defense from the agl one looking kind of good right now 285k from this unit that's supporting and guarding i don't know man i'm feeling a little robbed by this entire experience these 20 dollars videos are supposed to be challenging man i really i like to have you know a lot of people have been commenting about like the whole getting a free unit when they release and that's kind of my pseudo way i talked about this in a video before i feel like i'm retracing my steps but it, it's my way of like doing essentially showcases for these units but there's already so much showcase content on dokkan youtube that this is my fun way to do it like i build a team that you're not typically going to see even though i kind of feel like the team we got today is one you're probably going to see most people run this character on minus like agl turlis like the dokkan fest easy a definitely would have found his way in here somehow at nine million coming out from agl turlis of all people that easy a is actually fucking bonkers which is funny because i feel like he didn't look that way on paper and i feel like that's happening a lot right now in dokkan with like so many units we get them we read them and we're like he looks all right he doesn't look like anything crazy and then the unit drops and people get some playtime with it. Usually it's that day to download night where Truth does his video on it. And then all of a sudden, people are two hand twisting it. The last major, major case of that that I can definitely think of is Intonamic Vegeta. I remember his info dropped and Truth was dogging that man on Twitter. Then the day to download hit and he was looking pristine. The attack stats were high. Defense was looking good for the time. This was pre-red zone, of course. And then the, com the, the conversation around the unit completely changed. Everyone kind of fell in love with him. And I feel like that might be the story that we're seeing here with 10 milli turless. Like, they call him 10 -less. I'm just saying shit, bro. It's so late that I'm recording this. And the second super coming from turless, another 10 million dude. He's actually insane. And that's the thing. People read him on paper and everyone was kind of having like this oof moment. Like, he looks kind of bad. But look at this guy, dude. He's destroying. And we're already on the second to last phase of the event. I just don't understand, honestly, anything about this celebration. Between Turles's intro condition, the fact that they had the prime time to easy a LR Turles, and these motherfuckers went down the list and said, Go, bros. We just doing shit now, aren't we? Like, fuck it, fuck it. I remember sixth anniversary for me was really around the time that I felt like Dokkan started structuring their celebrations around the theme of the celebration. Hence the super early EZA we got for Ain't UI Goku. The first LR EZA we got, or summonable LR EZA we got with, um, what, what are these fuckers names? Uh, LR Go Frieza. Speaking of Go Frieza, I need to do a Legends gameplay video on them. So be on the lookout for that in the coming days. But actually, before I even get back into that, Turles is sitting there staring at me. He wants me to pop his active skill. So I'm gonna do. No Saiyan should be running around with that bowl cut of yours. It's time that Uncle Turles helped you out. You? We're taking a trip to the barber shop. Open your eyes! Damn, Gohan turned into a monkey and slapped his monkey dad. This is some crazy, this is, the storylines write themselves, people. And is it me or did Turles' attack stat go way up? This is mine. This isn't even the rainbow one. Shit, maybe I need to pop his act to go 1.5 down there, by the way. But no, uh, I was talking about how they've restarted the conversation of is Dokkan dying? And I was just saying that I feel like this happens every year, man. Like right before Global Annie and JP Tanabata, everyone's like, yo, what's going on with the game? Like, I didn't like this release. 
movies. I don't like that. What are they doing? This character is bad. Then Worldwide's gonna hit. And if it's anything like Cooler Worldwide, the Dokkan team is going to knock that shit out of the park. And then we're all gonna be fucking gassing the game up again. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not gassing the game up now. I'm not really... I feel like when Dokkan is not meeting my standards exactly as to what I want, I don't really go on rants or many things like that, or at least not often. I I, 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 I rant every now and then. I was, I was bullshit a little bit. I rant every now and then. Not to the extent of, you know, most of the... And I feel like the loud majority of the people that are yelling, ah, what's going on with Dokkan? Ah, bad decisions. Global players. Global players, they're getting a bunch of JPs, let's call it what it is, sloppy seconds. They're getting a lot of releases that they've already watched six videos on, that they've already seen used in a million different events. So it doesn't, the content is not, the content that they are getting is not engaging for them because it's all kind of repeated for them. Which just further pushes my point. Dokkan Battle, Akatsuki, Omatsu, Koto, whoever we gotta talk to, sync these motherfuckers up. Now it's time. I'm sorry, it's time. The games being separate are actively hurting the games Hell, I know you guys got your, your calculations. I know you know because I know that this game is at its most engaging. This game is at its most money making. And the game is at its most fun when everyone is celebrating something together. Look at Worldwide. Worldwide has become like that celebration of the year where the entire Dokkan community is together. It's the most caught up we are at the year. We're all getting the new units at the same time. And it's so fun. Half the time when I make these boards, I have to sit here and think, do global players have this unit? Oh, how can I? I price this unit because the games are so separate but it's the same game they need to take that treasure cruise approach man turn tanabata into global anniversary and have both games celebrate both anniversaries at the same time i don't know i was didn't i just say that i'm not a ranter and here i am fucking ranting i'm such a lying bastard speaking of bastards turles has a whopping 800k defense right now yeah guys he's really bad dude he sucks you guys nailed it but then again maybe they did nail it because the man is only going to be able to hit these crazy attacks that's when he's going against a goku's family enemy what a terrible condition is it me or hold on i'll hold that thought because you're like yo play the fucking game dude okay i got you turles active skill round two coming up they always tell me turles you're addicted to the tree of much yeah the only thing i'm addicted to is making saiyan stare at the moon maybe i am weird <laughs> like you cut g <laughs> Oh my god, do you see that attack stat down there? I don't even want to know. Oh shit, I really actually do want to know what we're about to see from this boy Turles. Ah, he's missing a link. Y'all know I love links. Okay, we're gonna pray that AGL Turles doesn't... Oh my god, dude, if he snuffs us, this would be so bad. We need to see that attack stat. All right, probably the final turn of this run. Another easy $20. Do you guys remember when this series first started and I lost like three times in a row? That really doesn't happen anymore. Either I need to start doing more challenging events or I really do need to stop doing the free unit. Okay, that super actually hit us for way more than I was expecting, but he's eating the normal, so we're gonna be fine. All we need is for him not to crit. Perfect. Or Goku could dodge. That works too. Go ahead and dodge this one as well. Goku, don't crit turrets, please. Okay, thank you. So we're gonna get to see the physical turrets attacks that. Beautiful. So 3.4 million base. What is the... Oh my god! 11 million. Like, he's literally like a baby cooler. He kind of reminds me of Gamma 2 in the way that he's built. Oh. Oh, but like I was saying, I feel like Dokkan these days is way more restrictive in the ways they're doing these passives. Like, especially in regards to intros, you always need like a certain category person on the team or they need to be fighting this sort of enemy. Can we go back to kind of unrestricted passives so we can just let the units fly and have fun with them? Especially when you guys aren't giving us constant, like difficult content to do with these units. I, I know it was on a survey a while back and I'm sure the dominant answer was people like to test their new units in difficult events. So either give us more more or stop restricting these units to have to be against certain bosses please with all that being said guys there was probably the shortest and probably the most anti-climactic $20 video in a very very long time uh, I do want to apologize that there haven't really been any videos in regards to the Legends anniversary I'm trying to get some things in order so that we can bring you the most exciting content possible in regards to that so don't despair I got you with that being said guys that's gonna do it for today if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to like comment and subscribe it goes a long way and it's always really appreciated thank you guys so much for 12,000 subscribers I could not be more appreciative man it feels like we're growing every single day and that's probably the reality of the situation so seriously a humble thank you to you guys with that being said guys this is slavix signing off later